train times. It's been upgraded to version 2. Why you've uh, straight updated version 2 is to change your API provider. So I took the opportunity to rewrite the uh, rendering engine to make it version 2. Very well, new in this version, only one copy of it can be done at a time, uh, as you can see here. Another new feature on this is on the icon bar menu, you can cut ready to change the stations. I go to Phantom. And it's the photo here. You find these two buttons are new. That takes you to a section of my website, which I will show you because you probably download it from there anyway. That takes you to the API provider website, which you need a key from for it to for that creation work. Because I think one of the problems with the previous API provider was overuse of keys. Uh, this hasn't really changed a lot, neither has the future dates or the uh, train service timetable ones timetable what is new is you can now get the address of the station and there I plan to add more to this over time like opening times and various other bits of things that the station has like does it, does it have telephones Wi-Fi kiosks etc etc that will be done over a period of time got a few other things I, I want to uh, do to it as well. It's like if you get go well, to the service ID and go to London Waterloo. You see, it's got the times it leaves there. Not the time it, it it arrives there, apart from once it starts and goes there. That can be changed, but then it will do get trains that arrive and not depart from there. So I think I'll pick the, the thing there so you can go arrivals and departures. It only affect terminal stations and pass through stations, it doesn't make any difference with. So I go back to the info one. There you go info, info again. This data can be saved. Here's a text plain text file. Which here, that across, that into your text editor, a CSV file, that's the wrong one, CSV file, call that one, so you've got address one CSV file, and also as a V card. So that could be loaded into applications like Organizer or any other thing that would take a V card. The more info button gives you three options. If an application that can handle GPX files has been seen by the filer, that option will be available if not be greyed out. Click on it, we're open risk OS, risk OS OSM, showing a map where it is in where the station is. As you can see here, there's a, there's a pin with the map. The other one, it will take you to the National Ra Rail's National Rail Inquiries web page for the station. Comes in. Data. What oh, is doing that? There's London Waterloo, and also it does Wikipedia. Page for that station. Here you notice there's a little icon. On some of them, 
most of it be trains, but occasionally, when well, there's a bus replacement service, you have a bus there. So it does require WGET, I'll link that in the description. And the data, the time tabbing data comes from real, tra real time trains API site, and the tr station data comes from a, a national a network, sorry, network rail web API site. So it does require a, 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 a link to everything in the description. It's available from our website, again, a link in the description. So, there we go. If you do like my song, why don't buy some merch? Or take away to my coffee, coffee pages. Again, links in the description, I think. Thank you, goodbye, and see you on the next video, whatever that's going to be about.